From the Houthi viewpoint, Hadi has been replaced, but he believes he's still very much the leader. So how can you ever unite Yemen? I put that question to Nadwa al Nawarsari, a senior fellow with the Project on Middle East Democracy. It would take justice. Um, it would take inclusion. And I'm afraid it's, uh, it's a little too late for ideal solutions. The South has been crushed by, uh, by the northern regime uh, since, uh, since the early 90s, the war. But then after the war, the South was uh, hugely marginalized. The lands in the South was, was looted by northern elite, northern uh, army officers and, and individuals who are close to the um, former president, Abdullah Saleh, but also his larger network of, of tribal and political uh, elite. I think, I think what's important now is that not only the South, but other regions in the country that has been marginalized, and it's not only the South, people in Ta'as, people in Hudaydah, people in Sada, and people in, in Ma'rib, and other areas have been marginalized. And that's why you see all these conflicts uh, taking place in, in different parts of the country. I think what's important now is for these areas, including the South, but also other areas, to have more... Uh, more resources and, and more say uh, in, 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 in the decision making and, and things that affect their lives. Uh, what you've outlined for us is complicated, but it's even more complicated than that because many are calling this a proxy war. Countries like Saudi Arabia and Iran involved. To what degree would you say are they driving the violence or contributing to it? Um, I think people like to, to find easy explanations and like to simplify things. The simple uh, interpretation of this conflict is that it's a proxy war between Saudi and Iran. Saudi and Iran are contributing to the conflict they have and they still continue to, but the conflict is Yemeni, Yemeni. Uh, about 2.5 million people are internally displaced in Yemen, uh, both sides accused of using child soldiers. Talk to us about the human impact of this conflict, what these people need, and, uh, and how long is this process going to take before there can be peace, given what we're talking about? Um, well, I mean, as you, as you said, the humanitarian situation is, is pretty dire uh, throughout the country. Uh, almost three million people are, 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 are internally marginalized. Uh, I, I don't know if we will see peace anytime soon. Uh, clearly, the, the talks in Kuwait who have been going on, for, for, uh, going on now for more than two months uh, are not going anywhere. Uh, there is zero progress. The people around the table are simply interested in power and not in ending Yemen's conflict. Um, I don't think that we that something solid will come out of Kuwait. Best case scenario, the airstrikes will stop, which is a positive thing. Um, and maybe there will be some sort of a settlement uh, similar to the 2011 political settlement that will simply be a power share uh, agreement um, and that will not address the root causes of the conflict. Um, I do think that beyond any settlement that will take place in Kuwait, and most probably that will happen, the internal conflicts will continue um, and the way these conflicts will evolve will, 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 uh, will determine the future of the country. I think people will continue to suffer, and I think it would take a, a huge commitment from the international community to at least, uh, at least try to uh, mitigate the humanitarian crisis that will that, that happen and that will continue to happen. A huge commitment do you expect that it will happen, though? I mean, are they going to step up? They need to step up. Uh, the, the OCHA, they, they're saying that they're getting only 17% of the money they need to address Yemen's humanitarian uh, need. That's not acceptable. Uh, the international community and the Gulf countries need to put money into aid, uh, into humanitarian assistance to Yemen. Nadwa Darsari, senior fellow with the Project on Middle East Democracy. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.